Formula 1 has been hit with a big piece of news in the last few days, as four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel has announced his retirement from Formula 1 at the end of the 2022 season. Vettel, who currently drives for Aston Martin, appeared in a press conference on Thursday and was asked what the driving factor was behind his decision, to which he responded, Formula 1 to me will always be the best sport in the world. I would always love Formula 1, but the time feels right for me to step aside. I've been in the paddock for 17 years and I've loved every bit of it, but it's time to sit back and remember the good times I've had. Of course, with this shock bit of news, the paddock have already begun speculating over who will take a seat at Aston Martin in 2023. Drivers that are considered in the mix include both Williams drivers George Russell and Nicholas Latifi, and Guan Yu Zhou is considered an outsider despite having no links to the Mercedes family. Shockingly, Malachi Wilson's name was thrown into the mix, despite him still having another year on his contract at Alpha Tauri. You can only wonder if he's willing to give that up in order to move to the Aston Martin team. Season 1 Chapter 8 Singapore Grand Prix Sebastian Vettel's decision to retire from Formula 1 as the Pelican shock and immediately questioning who his replacement could be. Rumours are they're looking at bringing in Malachi Wilson, but if there's any truth to these rumours, then he'll want to get on their radar with a good finish under the lights of Marina Bay. Here we go then, it's Formula One in Marina Bay once again, and welcome to all of you at home who join us today for this fascinating race around the baking hot, horribly humid, but very beautiful streets of Singapore. We have a high risk of a safety car here today as the abundance of tight corners mixed with these wet conditions could put a few cars off into the barriers. 23 turns then, 13 to the left and 10 to the right, make up the 3.1 mile lap of Marina Bay. It's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. Anthony Davidson, could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. And judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he starts from pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Sergio Perez, and Hamilton, Norris, Giovinazzi, Fernando Alonso, and Pierre Gasly, Vettel, Ricardo. George Russell and Stroll, Wilson, Joe, Nicholas Latifi and Yuki Tsunoda, Ocon and Mick Schumacher. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. What is going everybody, Zach Ossie here, welcome back to the channel and welcome along to the next episode of F1 The Prodigy for Season 1, Chapter 8 today of the Singapore Grand Prix and this is something new for us, it's a full wet race, we're going to jump right into this one, our objective is to get into the top 10 within the first 5 laps, it's going to be kind of short term to get this thing started, 5 red lights are on and the lights are out and we're underway, it's not the best of getaways here, Stroll gets the edge over us and Latifi's already looking to the right hand side, we head towards turn 1, we're stuck in a, in a sandwich here, Joe and Latifi trying to get past us both, we go on the, on the inside of Latifi, Joe managed to find his way through, we managed to hold off Sonoda in the house for the time being, we've made a bit of contact here, we've tapped the back end of both Stroll and Joe's car at the same time, going through turn 2 though, nice and smooth, keeping it right behind, it's a fully wet race, so we have to be very careful in the opening phase of the race, we're going to dive to the inside though, Malachi is throwing caution to the wind over the curb a little bit there, we've managed to follow past both cars though, past, down the inside of both Stroll and Joe, great stuff here, but that, and that puts us up into P14, so that's one place game, not too bad a start, but Stroll changed that, he's on the right hand side, he's going back out though, we, we didn't give him the space, we squeezed him, but he didn't, he's backed up for him to in the wall. Still now chasing down George Russell, we're going to dive to the inside of him if we can, inside of the Williams, nice and clean, we've got the place at P13 secure, the second place we've gained on this opening lap, and now our next target is the Alfa Romeo of Daniel Ricciardo, who's had a very good season so far, and it'd be a good thing for him for us to try and take some points away from him in the Alfa Romeo, we're going to try and do it here if we can, we're going to try and move around, see if we can find an opening. I doubt he'll make a mistake, he's a very good driver, as Daniel Ricciardo, I said by I doubt he'll let us through that easily, but we've, we've got the car that could challenge him, we'll try and dive to the inside, going into the left hand, a very tight, very hard to pass here, 
and let you know what you're doing. Malakai's on the inside though, but Ricardo just gets the edge and slides past us in the rain. We'll try and make another dive to the inside, going into this next right hander if we can. Putting it close now for all the way on the inside. No contact once again, nice and smooth, forcing him out. And that's us having to P12, so not too bad. We're starting with all, we're back on now, we're second and a half of the road. So we're going to try and change that, try and close in. Over the course of this third sector, going heading towards the, uh, the tunnel now, one of my favourite parts of the Singapore circle. It's saying we're a very nice circle, we're looking at it in the rain sometimes. It can be annoying, but sometimes you've got to learn to deal with these things, and that's what Formula 1 is all about. But still, we'll continue to ch chase down Vettel with close the gap down to almost down to one second because he's just going slower and slower, stuck in that train in the wet. And there's our teammate Pierre Gasly, who's up in P10, holding the last point. Bottas comes through to lead the first lap of the Singapore Grand Prix. So, not too bad a start for us on this opening lap. We've gained three places as we begin lap two. And our target now is simply just to chase down Vettel and Gasly in front of us. Of course, our objective is to get to the top ten within the first five laps. And there's Vettel now right in front of us now as we push further onto lap three. We're just giving chase in. We're trying to make a dive at the inside. Very audacious, but Vettel squeezes us just that little bit over the curb and that's all he, re he really needs to keep the place so we're going to stick behind him for the time being and see if we can try and find another opening further into the lap so we continue to press on down this next straight we move on now to the end of lap number three the track appears to be drying a bit more but not obviously not enough to go on to dry tires but Confirmed. it appears that a lot of guys are coming in we're, we're not going to come in let's try and see if we can stay up one more lap we'll have to see if, if the team are able to take us this time let's check the radio okay we can take you this lap Malachi Wilson now rounds the final corner to start the next lap. It doesn't look like he's it doesn't look like he's going into pits this time. I reckon most likely he'll be stopping at the start of the next lap. In comes Malachi, but strangely, he's been coming in right behind his AlphaTauri teammate Pierre Gasly, who's already in for a stop. What's going on down at AlphaTauri? They're choosing to double stack, and this has been a really poor decision on AlphaTauri's part, and that's not going to put Malachi even further behind in the race. He was in the points, and now he's looking to fall down, way down the order. So we'll have to see what he can do here, see if he can get himself out of a bad situation. No doubt he's very frustrated. The radar's showing a clear patch on its way. There's about 10 more minutes of this rain. Inters seem like the fastest tyre for now. Well, we're not very pleased about that then. The double stack has failed for Alfa Tauri, leaving us down in P14 once again. The aim now to catch up to Sebastian Vettel, who's a long way up the road. I believe up in P11, but we've got, we've got, right now we're dealing with his teammate Lance Stroll. So let's try to keep him behind us for now. Towards the end of lap number 6 now, Will Stroll try and make a move to the inside. There he goes to the left, going into the last two corners. We're going to squeeze him out. He backs out going to those last two. He, he knows what risk he was putting himself and us, us here with Malachi at the first last two corners. So we're going to hold on to P14 for the time being. On these inters, the track gets drier and drier. I, I, I doubt we're going to be able to hold on to things for too long here because sim just simply with the uh, the wet weather, uh, we, we, it was more of a level playing field. But when it gets into the drier, we're sitting ducks on some of these straights. We've got, we've got yellow flags in front of us. I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks like one of the Alfa Romeos is slowing down. Looks like it's Ricardo caution, pulling over caution. to the side of the racetrack. Is that him out? Yes, it is. Daniel Ricciardo out of the session. That's going to put us in another place. So bad luck for Ricciardo. That, that means us up another place. Uh, and that's us up into P13. And Vettel's out there in P11. So we're going to try and catch him if we can. We are losing time. So it's in front of us. A bit of a mistake there. No, I haven't locked up. We're still okay. But Stroll's on the inside. So now be on the outside. We're going to force him out. Run our regular line. And that gives Jean an opportunity to peek up the inside of the Canadian if he can. He's still side by side with them, so head to the channel, oh, head to the tunnel, so surely they'll lose some time there, been there so we get to launch. hold on to things a bit more. Move on to that lap, start lap number 10 now, or towards the end of lap number 10, sorry, Stroll. We've made the same mistake again, and Stroll's found his way through on the inside, we're going to force him even further out. We've, we, might, we might have hit his front wing there, so we've got a collision, warning for a collision with Stroll, so that's not too good. We're still continuing on here, still continuing to hold on to this position, we haven't got too much damage, we may, we've probably done bits here and there to the front wing, just as the race has gone on, like we normally do, but... Regardless, we're still going here, still nice and smooth. Stroll's closing in once again, he has another look, but moves back into line, doesn't even get close enough to make the move, luckily for us. So we're going to hold on to P13 for the time being, we're going to lap 11, and towards the end of lap 11, now the DRS has been enabled, and Russell's coming to the pit in front of us for a set of medium tyres. So hopefully things will be... Well, hopefully we'll be right on this, on this for one more lap before we come into the pits, but alas, we're not. We've been quickly been caught by Russell, the track's very quickly drying. And him on the mediums, he's closing us, he's making the move now, he's trying to take P12 away. So that's, where, that's where we are now, thanks to him. We've got a sliding all over the track. Russell takes the switch back and makes his way through on the right-hand side as Gasly's now in the pits. We'll be able to safely pit now without him right in front of us, but still 
the fact that it's, it's, the t it's kind of the team's forward strategy that we're back here because they said they could take us this time and they're not able to. So just continue to push now through sector three. Russell is pulling away into the distance and it feels like we're the only driver who's still out here on intermediate tyres. So let's do something about that. I reckon I get the feeling that a change in strategy could could be in order here because I reckon if we go into a set of hard tyres, we could try and make it all the way to the end of the race. But of course, we'll be a lot slower, so it will come down to whether we'll get a safety car or anything. And I think if we don't get a safety car, we may have to retire from the race because we're really not going to get any further up from this. Everyone else is on the medium tyres already. They came into the pits last time round while we gained some time, so we're going to have to hope we can beat them out, but I doubt we will because they're already making their way through the last couple of corners while here we are in our pit box. And they're changing the front wing for some reason. I'm not sure why they're doing that because not too much damage on it. But, aside, but unfortunately, yeah, that's us on a set of hard tyres, like I say. And away we go from our pit box, and we're falling now down to P17. And that'll change it. Here comes Juan Yu Zhou. And that puts him up to P18. Here comes Mick Schumacher lastly in the Haas. And that puts him up into P19. So things aren't looking too good for us. So we're down, we're, we're down in P19, sorry. So there's only really one more thing left to do. Lap 19 out of 31. Bottas still continues to lead for Stappen here. He's driven an excellent race so far. What's this? We've got a car in the barriers. It's Malachi Wilson in the Avatari. And just like that, he was already in the back. And his race has just gone from bad to worse. Malachi Wilson out of the Singapore Grand Prix. And I can, ha I can there's no doubt in my mind that he is very, very frustrated about that. All right, well, that's that. We're out. We're out. We're out of, the, out of the Singapore Grand Prix. The race is over for Malachi Wilson. Poor day from him today. Things just didn't really go right with the with the double stack strategy. I'm not really sure what Terry were thinking. Bottas has won the race. So he's no doubt driven an incredible drive up the front, but I just don't really know what to say. The decision to double stack has really cost us in this race, and it could have allowed us to go up, up in the points even further, but not today for us. That's our second DNF of the season. Bottas wins it then from Leclerc, Verstappen in third place, Lewis Hamilton in fourth, Carlos Sainz fifth, Sergio Perez in sixth place, Antonio Giovinazzi seventh, Fernando Alonso eighth for Alpine, Pierre Gasly, our teammate comes home in ninth place, and Sebastian Vettel takes the final point for Aston Martin, but damn, that's very frustrating, and that's another chapter failed. Hopefully we'll have to try and pick up from there, see if we can do anything about it in the next few chapters. Look at the Drivers' Championship now, it's Hamilton is leading by one point over Verstappen, Bottas in third, Perez fourth, we're still sitting down there in tenth place, in the Drivers' Championship, but I think if we had a few good races, we can still catch Giovinazzi and bring that run to an end. Put him in ninth place. We're going to the Championship now. Mercedes continue to try and stretch the gap over Red Bull. The gap now 549 to 503. Alphatari and us just sitting all by themselves in fifth place, almost 100 points in front of Alpine and almost 100 points behind McLaren. But with that, you guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and leave me a comment down below telling me what I could have done better on and what, and what you like about this one so I can make improvements. But until then, you, until the next video, guys, I shall see you later. So have a good day and goodbye. The race unfortunately ends in the barriers for Malachi Wilson. Left frustrated by the decision to double stack from the team, this could threaten to jeopardise his season further and potentially add more fire to the Aston Martin rumours.